Well, it was the rallying cry that helped carry the New York Giants to their last Super Bowl championship. In the chapel last night, and our speaker talked about all in. And today, you know, you could just tell the Giants were all in, regardless of what circumstance happened or, you know, whatever happened. It just seemed like we was, regardless of what was going to happen, we was going to be all in. And, and that's how you got to play this game. Our next guest is the man behind that message who is back working with the team as they gear up for their playoff game tomorrow. A big one against the Green Bay Packers, the New York Giants team chaplain, John Paul Gonzalez, joins us now. John, great to see you this morning. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. All right, so big game tomorrow. What is the message for the team going ahead of this snowstorm as you head out to Green Bay? <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, they've really just carried it out the whole season. I think they've shown just amazing resiliency and perseverance. And so really it's just, uh, you know, just encouraging them, uh, first and foremost, Foremost, I feel my role is encouraging them as men, you know, even before what happens on the field. Uh, my job is to make them, you know, realize just the potential they have as men and impacting their families and their communities, which they do an amazing job of, and then, you know, let the field kind of take care of itself. Walk us through your journey. How did you end up back with the team? You know, uh, it was just an amazing course of events. Uh, first, getting to speak to them in the first place, uh, just being recognized by the uh, chaplain at the time, uh, George McGovern, and him finding me uh, at that point in time, I was doing ministry in jail, uh, helping a juvenile detention center. Uh, students be able to find their way back uh, with hope and then from there uh, they uh, contacted me before training camp this year and the next thing I know I'm uh, traveling with the team for every home and away game and getting to uh, hopefully help them out any way I can. Very cool. So that all in message from, mm -hmm. from 2011, is yeah, it going to be the same message tomorrow? <laughs> you're gonna, can you preview it for us? Or, I mean, what, how do you prepare for something give, like give that? Give us the same speech. <laughs> right. We need the motivation this morning. Oh, I'll, I'll let you know if it works after Sunday. How about that? <laughs> we'll all know whether yeah. it works after Sunday. But, but the all-in message, was yeah. that something, the spur of the moment, is that something you talk about a lot? You know what? Um, in the past couple of years since then, I've had a lot of opportunities just to share the message, uh, both nationally and also doing it in places like Beijing, Hong Kong, even Manila and the Philippines. And really, I feel it applies to everything. You know, because it's really that challenge of you're going to have an opportunity, but do you go halfway or do you give everything you have? And I feel as, as individuals, you know, we've been blessed with so many opportunities by God that really we do it a disservice when we choose to just play it safe. Mm -hmm. We even yeah. talked about that here for New Year's resolutions, right? If you're going to sit down with your children and spend time with your children, be all in. Yeah. Don't be half distracted on their phone or doing other right. things. Spend that intentional time with your family and your loved ones. Exactly. And that's the power of total engagement. And that's what I say to guys a lot is because I know, you know, we, our schedules are so filled and so busy that if you only have five minutes, you know, you're all there for five minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, we may not get to spend as much time as we want to in larger quantities, but it's that power of just being totally focused. Like you said, putting away the phone, turning off right. the TV, even if you just get to talk with your wife even for 10 15 minutes being all there and that's what I love about your message is it's so much more than just the game mm -hmm. and what happens on the field this is something that is so important just in personal lives and when these players they take it home with them yeah. and make them better individuals that's what yeah. it's all about Giants Patriots Super Bowl what do you think uh, hope so I, li I like our record against them so. <laughs> <laughs> well, and your record against the Packers has been pretty darn good in the yep. playoffs yep any you predictions know. for tonight uh, you know I I think it'll uh, it'll be a great game. I would love to say that uh, Eli will go up there and the rest of the team will play great. And then, uh, you know, it'll be on to either, I guess, uh, Seattle, uh, Atlanta, or Dallas. There we Tomorrow go. night on Fox, 430 is the big game. Big Green, game. Green Bay Giants. All right, if they win, we'll give you the credit. <laughs> <laughs> the Thanks, secret John. message. Thank you, John. John